my name is John Luster. I know it's not a good thing, but I still live with my mama in a tiny town called Rembert, South Carolina, a town I have been trying to leave my whole life. Daddy, he used to tell me this story every night when I was real little. There was this pretty princess living in a fancy palace. This princess loved her dog. Well, she believed that her precious white Pekingese was a human soul come back to protect her. And one night, a bandit broke into the palace. The princess was terrified that he was gonna steal her dog. So the princess takes this big sword and killed the little dog. Well, she killed herself too. She couldn't bear to be separated from that dog. And on Daddy's deathbed in prison, he said, Son, I hope you just find yourself a woman that will love you like a dog. Mama said, Now what kind of damn love is that? that corsage you sent Aunt Grace. And did she like it? Did Aunt Grace like it? John, honey, put a shirt on. Mama, I'm treating my hair. I can't bear to see those marks all over your body. Mama. You picked that up in prison. It's not right. Mama, I did not go to prison. I was just detained. Well, I don't know. That's my new tenant, Renee. little dogs cost over a thousand dollars. People pay that kind of money for a dog or fool, but you be nice to her. Anyone ever complain about my manners? There she was, my very own princess, right in mama's backyard with her puppy, all shiny and white like a great big silver dollar. You better get your clothes on, get yourself down to that R.T. Pawnee, I can get yourself a real job. What would happen if I was to die on that operating table? No one ever dies having their feet operated on, Mama. Where the hell am I? Uh, okay. I followed the map to here. Where is it? <laughs> ah, First Baptist Church of Rembert. I knew it. <sighs> Rembert. Hey, you try that. That's my new sausage ah. from Louisiana. Uh. Mm. No, dang! Don't worry about That's it, baby. I'll jacket. clean it up it's for you. Uh. Mm. So I hear you have a celebrity undercover in your trailer. It was the first I heard of it. Jeanette Foley. She's the one that inherited that dog from that old lady. What was her name? Something weird, like, like Hetty Hartford or something. The relatives are trying to get the dog back. I saw it in the Inquirer. I also saw a special report on CNN. Are you sure? Mama says her name is Renee. Yes, I'm sure. $100,000 a year to take care of that dog. Good Lord. Miss Alice over at the Piggly Wiggly, she was the first one to spot her. You must be the son 
John Luster, nice to meet you. Hey, little sugar foot. <laughs> for a drink? No. Thank you. Oh, man. This is incredible. This is from the Charleston Chamber of Commerce. Dear Mr. Luster, thank you for your letter. Your tour boat plans sound very exciting. Our organization always welcomes new enterprises to the area. Good luck and keep in touch. Thaddeus D. Court. Well, I don't know. Don't you understand anything? If I even have 20 passengers a day, I'm gonna make over $600. You don't even have a boat. <laughs> Daddy always liked to spite Mama. And he said the aggravation was what always kept them together. This princess done come to me with more than just a little doll. She come to me with the money for my boat. With that kind of money, she could have hid that dog anywhere she plays. But her finding her way here to Mama's trailer, this has to be a sign my life's gonna turn around. You have a drink with me. Why not? <laughs> hmm. Are you thinking about staying around here for a while? Probably not. Really? Because actually, there are some beautiful sights around here. Blue Meal Plantation. I've already been there. What's that old caretaker's name? <laughs> Ned. Ned Mayard. Ned is my second cousin. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look at all alike. Oh, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. <laughs> I liked him, though. He seemed so familiar. And that place. It's the first time I ever thought, this is where I was really born. So where you come from? Some crappy little town somewhere. Oh, but look at this beautiful little baby. So precious and sweet. You could crush his head with your fist. Hmm. I can't imagine why someone would want to do things like that. I'd kill anyone who tried. Sure is a cute little thing. I'm thinking about getting Mama something like him. I met your Mama. She wouldn't know what to do with it. It's just not in her. They're babies. Miss Hetty, what do you think of this John Luster character? I know, but he's, he's kind of charming. You gotta give him that. I don't think he knows who I am. Or, or, or what I'm... Why I'm here, or... You don't know... You don't know anything. 
It's awful pretty out here. <laughs> Go away. Come on, Renee, come out and have a little cocktail with me. I am sleepy. What kind of cocktail? Bourbon. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. This might sound way out, but uh, I feel like uh, I know you. Everybody knows Renee, who's the cutest girl in town. Likes to lead all the boys around. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just a regular card. Life of the party. <laughs> I bet. I bet you are. Was was and then what happens engine wearing out spraying a fuel leak <gasps> called triple a uh oh looks like we've been giving this baby one too many jumps and that's when you better have a friend sister no one's gonna get you here it's real peaceful See, there was this girl named Jeanette Foley. Little Jeanette. <laughs> we all couldn't spin fast enough for her. Poor Jeanette. See, she woke up feeling really crummy. And on this particular day, there was nobody. And no dough. No dough and nobody. <laughs> so poor little Jeanette had to forge a few checks. Oh. And then guess where she wound up? Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jail. Miss Hartford, Miss Eddie Hartford, bailed her out and brought her home. Mm. Mm, such a sweet part. I bet people around here may know all about me. Mm. How's that? Jeanette. Mm. I'm not following you. Oh. You all right? All right. I'm fine. Here I am in a trailer and heading out somebody's backyard in the middle of South Carolina and I had to drive a long goddamn way to get here. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to just drive and drive and drive and drive? That's it. And there's not one single soul in the whole wide world to hold you. When you get there, either. Yeah. 